if you didn't watch this video where I'm explaining the laws of exponents one by one, please go check that video. Okay, that video is going to give you a full, a full, full, full picture of what is going on, how to tell the difference between the laws. So now let's go for this one. Now this law says if you have a bracket and outside the bracket you have exponent, you just keep the basis, then multiply the exponents. Okay, five times three. This is going to be base a to the power of 15. Done. Now, this one says, ah, same thing. Can you see that? We have these brackets, brackets. So, now, the difference now, we have this number. Because this number is inside the bracket, which means now we have to consider that there is power 1 there. So, uh oh, I was not supposed to put this. Okay, let me just rewrite it like this. Okay. Ah, this is 3. So now I'm going to multiply the exponents by that exponent outside. Okay, it's 3, 1 times 2, x, 2 times 3. Oh, come on. This is 3. Come on, you know, this is why. This is 3. Okay. So, this is 3 to the power of 3, and this is x to the power of 6. But, we know the value here, okay? 3 to the power of 3, we all know that is what? 27x to the power of 6. So, this is your final one. Number C, mm, number C is funny. So the position for C is very funny. Let's do C here. So we have C bracket to have Y to the power of 11 over Y to the power of 7. And they are all what? They are all to the power of 2 outside there. So here I suggest you deal with what is inside the bracket first. Okay. So we have this rule that says, when when you are dividing the same basis you take as one and then you only what subtract their exponents okay just keep that one outside don't rush okay don't rush and then we have what y okay seven my okay 11 minus seven Okay, what is this? This is going to be 4, isn't it? Okay, because we have 6, 5, 1. Okay, this is going to be 4, I guess. If it's not going to be 4, please fix it. Now we are going to do this one now, the one that we just did up there. It's 4 times 2. And then your final answer is going to be y to the power of 8. And 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 3 plus cube root and then you are given 8. Okay, do you see this one? So what are you going to do here? Fix these like terms first. Okay, because now this is plus. Okay, we don't have a law that includes plus. So fix this one. This one is the same as taking as the same base or one base. Then the first exponent is 4 minus this one, the second one. Plus, fix this. So you have this. You know, if you have watched my cube roots or square roots, video you'll know this okay here you need to have the same uh, exponent in this uh, root number or cube root okay then here we are going to have two okay so that this will cancel this power of three to the power of three okay this exponent okay so here we have what we have three four minus three is one 
now we are not going to write that one because one is invisible okay this is going to remove this you know that so this is going to be what it's going to be five okay please like do you understand okay let me know if you understand just write yes i understand sir but it's different this time you are given what we are given 10 divided by base 3 to the power of 5 divided by um 3 to the power of 2. now here all the bases are the same and they are all dividing here you are allowed to take as one base okay the first base minus the second minus the third so not base the exponent uh -huh, exponent mm -hmm, minus this one mm -hmm. and then you have this three so okay let's go so let's go 10 minus 5 is 5 5 minus 2 is going to be 3 okay so 3 to the power of 3 we all know that is what 27 okay so you have to pay attention to all those small details remember they are going to put these things together as you can see here these are two different concepts so you have to be able to what you have to be able we have to be able to analyze each okay let's try another one you have 3x to the power of 2 times 2x to the power of 3 okay i want you to pay attention to this one there is nothing you can do with the exponents of these numbers and there's no bracket here for you to multiply uh -huh, the exponent remember these are the what these are these numbers in front of letters are what are the one that we call coefficient they are telling you how many x squared how how many x cubes okay here we have three x squared here we have here we have what we have two x cubes so the first thing that you do you start by multiplying the first numbers okay three times two is going to be six okay and then think about this we are multiplying now the same same what same basis so you take as one remember rule number one or law number one or exponential law one says when you are multiplying the same basis you add their exponents oh guys it's the morning okay i'm not sure if you can hear i'm doing this in the morning uh-huh okay so you have six now this is going to be what oh come on okay two plus three is going to be five okay so this is it we are given negative four to the power of three no outside it's a power of three okay and then and we have plus open bracket 3 to the power of 2 and outside the bracket oh come on come on now outside the bracket we have this one okay here is negative 4 times negative 4 that is positive what positive 16 times come on negative 4 times negative 4 is positive what 16 remember this negative 4 is multiplying itself how many times three times so it's the same thing as negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 
So negative 4 times negative 4, remember, negative times negative is positive 16 times negative 4 now is what? Is negative 64. Negative 60. Ah, negative 64. And then we have these ones. You say plus, this is going to be 9, but let's play with the rules, okay? 3 to the power of 2 times 3, okay? And then this is going to be negative 64 plus, this is going to be 6, uh-huh. And then what is the answer here? We still have, so we still have negative 64 plus, so, so 3 to the power of 6 is what? Is 729, okay? This is the same thing as 729 minus 64. Because learners, they normally get confused when we start with negative number. But if you know that we are not sure of your answers or of your what? Of your calculating skill, just go for your calculator. Use your calculator. Okay, so when you punch this as it is, what are we going to get? We are going to get a positive number. Okay, and that number is going to be 665. Okay, so grade 8, this is it. Okay, thank you so much. If this video really helped you somewhere or you have learned something out of it, please like and comment. Ah, tell me what we have learned. Okay, number two or number three, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Aha, uh -huh. guys, thank you so much for following me and for believing me. Oh, come on. And thank you so much for believing in me that I won't teach you something that is not, <laughs> you know, something that is not make sure, you know. So, yeah, thank you. Bye for now.